God bless you guys in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm just putting the title of this video, guys. It was gonna, I changed the, the I just want to make a, mo a small teaching. Not a small teaching, but like a small exhortation for those who claim to be Christian. I, I got like the scriptures ready. And um, I, this video is going to go to YouTube. It's called Cussing Christians. And that's why I put the question mark. So if you guys are watching me right now, turn your Bibles to James chapter 1. To James chapter 1 verses 26. Let's see what, what does Brother James needs to say about cussing Christians. That you you claim to be a Christian, but you're cussing? You need to check your heart, my friend. This is why the Apostle Paul told, told us to um examine ourselves to see if we're in the faith or not. You know. What's up, Omar? I'll, I'll join you later, bro. I'm, I'm doing a preaching right now, bro, okay? I know something you'd like to make fun of me too, but I forgive you, bro. I'll join you, alright, bro? So the title of this video is called Cussing Christians. Is there such thing as a cousin Christian? Do Christians curse? Do Christians say LMAO? Or they go around slandering? Let's take a look. James, those who of you guys have had their Bibles, open up to James chapter 1, verse 26, for the glory of God. Oh my God, here, bro. Um, see my Isaac Casadillas. Oh, no, it's my mom calling me. Sorry about that, guys. Um, in James chapter 1 verses 26 says, um, if any man among you seem to be religious and bread left not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain, pure religion under file before God. The father and the father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affection and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Like, you cannot call yourself a Christian, or you cannot claim to be once saved, always saved, and you're still cussing. Like, you know, James chapter 1, verse 26, sister. This oh, video is going to go to YouTube. You know, my mom was asking me something if I ate. I'm like, yes, I did. Yes. I'm going to go a little bit slower for those who want to join me, because there's a lot of people who just checks my video and just leaves. It's fine if you want to leave. You know, I'm not forcing you to stay. But hold on no more, right, bro? Just, you know, uh, I'll do another live stream, then we, we, we could talk, bro. But right now, I need, to, I need to focus on this. I need to focus on the Word of God. For me, because I want to feel God's presence surrounding me. Sure. I'll pray I'll, I'll pray for you, sis. Yeah, yeah, at the end of this live stream, I'm just making a, a, a small video about cussing Christians. Because somebody texted me saying LMAO. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? You're calling yourself a Christian and you and you and you writing nasty language on my on my on my profile? Like, are you serious? How can you be one saved always saved and you and you still check yourself, examine your heart, examine your heart. Um, open up your Bibles to First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verses thirteen. I mean, chapter thirteen, verse five. I'm sorry. Examine yourselves. Whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves, now ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. Um, for those of you guys you know who are doubting your salvation, or say, can I lose your salvation? Examine yourselves. Examine yourselves, my friends. You gotta examine yourselves. Hey, Dorian, God bless you, bro. Yeah, I'm just like focusing on this message though, because like there was a once I'd always say guy, he was like flooding my DMs. And say LMAO, like laughing, you know, my, I don't want to say it. I'm not going to even mention the person's name over here. But um, if you come across my page and you're flooding your filthy garbage or your filthy words on my page, I'm going to delete your comment, bro. I'm not even going to go back and forth with you. So, yeah. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Those of you guys who are wondering where I'm at, first, Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. That's why you need to check your heart. You know, are you, are, are you still the same person? How's your prayer life? Like, there's no such thing as a Christian Christian. You know, you either are a Christian or you're not a Christian at all. You know? Like, I think that if you're cursing, 
You're not you're not saved at all, man. You need to get saved. You're not saved. Stop saying that you're saved. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Let no correct communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to use the edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Like Look, it's Bible. I'm not even I'm not even using my own opinion. Like you be careful. Just be careful how you treat a servant of God. When you're coming up to my page asking me if I'm stupid, if I'm an idiot, be careful. Like, you're basically asking God to judge you. You're asking for God's judgment. That's what you're, you're specifically doing. You don't come up against a, 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 a child of God. Yes, look, look, he says, Let no communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to use the edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Like, for you Christians who like to be cursing, and you guys claim, oh, we're one saved, saved forever. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Y'all need to check yourself, bro. Like, you know, you can't do that, you know. You can't, you can't slap God on the face by cursing. You know, like, I think those people who actually be cussing, I used to struggle a lot with that sin, but, you know, God delivered me from cursing. Uh, you guys don't hear me cussing no more, you know. This is why sometimes I ra I just rather delete your comments not because I'm being a sissy or a coward. I just don't want to be back and forth with you, you know. Colossians chapter three verse eight. And then, but now ye also put up away this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication, filthy communication out of your mouth. Like be careful what you speak, you know. The mouth is the tongue is very dangerous. There's power in the in in, in the tongue. Hallelujah. Now, Matthew 12. Let's go to Matthew chapter 12. We're going to do this real quick. Because I know many people might not want to hear me, but it don't matter, you know. I'm not, I'm not here for, for people. I'm here for only two viewers. Great. Only two viewers. Great, 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 great. Yeah, later I'm going to talk about one thing that we say, whether it's biblical or not. We're going to go through it. We're going to go all through the scriptures i gotta do a, a, a little bit of study on it matthew chapter 12 it says but i say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak they shall give an account on the day therefore on the, on the day of judgment for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned this is this is jesus speaking right here like for those of you guys who who come to my page and say asf or omg you guys need to be careful of taking God's name in vain and about cursing. Watch your mouth. I shouldn't have um, put watch your mouth. That would be the title. I keep switching the title of this video. Watch your... You know what? Let me put it on tabs. Yeah. That's the, that's the name. That's the name of this video. I changed it already. It used to be Cussing Christians. And the question marks. But uh, I, this is going to go to my YouTube channel, guys. Like, you just can't, you know. You, you just can't claim you're a follower of God. But at the same time, you, you're cursing, you know. You're cussing. That's of the flesh. You're not born again if you do that, my friends. You're not born again at all. And, you know, I don't care, you know, how many times you said the sinner's prayer. The sinner's prayer ain't, ain't even going to save you. You need to uh, come to God with a repentant heart, you know. So, we went over the scriptures. I hope this video did edify you guys. And please watch your mouth, you know. Because there's a lot of people who are saying, OMG. OMG. I'm bored as F, you know. Like, come on, Christians. We could do better than this. We could do better than this. You know, Christians are not supposed to, like, if you're a true born-again follower of Jesus Christ, the, the F-bomb, the S-bomb, the C-bomb, whatever word, whatever profane or vulgar word shouldn't come out from your mouth. Only praises. Oh! Let's go to James. Let's go to James. God bless you guys. Anyone who's watching me right now.
Because y'all need to check yourselves, you know? Those of you guys who have a show, um, ask God for forgiveness, you know? You need to repent of that sin of cursing, you know? Cursing is a sin. You know? Especially when you curse a, a, a God's children. Or mock them. You don't do that to a child of God. James chapter chapter 3. James chapter 3. Let's start from um, verse 1. I'm in James chapter 3. For those of you guys who are wondering, yes, I'm in James chapter 3. If you're watch, guys watching me. If you guys want to follow along. Let's see. Yeah. It's going to be good. Okay. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. You heard that. Who, who is James talking to? He's talking to the believers. To the so-called believers. For those who've been in the faith for a long time ago. Okay. For if many things we offend all, we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouth, that they may obey us. And we turn about their whole body behold also the chips which through they be so great and are driven or fierce winds yet are they turned about with every small helm with hersoever the governor list listeth even so the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things behold how great a matter a little fire kindled and the tongue is a fire a word of iniquity so is the tongue among our brethren, our pro, uh, members, I'm sorry. And it defileth the whole body, and setteth a fire, the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast, and of birds, and of serpents, and of things in the sea, is tamed, and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and wherewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessings and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet bitter and sweet water and bitter? Doth can the fig tree, my brethren, bear all the berries, either a vine figs, so can no fountain, both geo, salt, and water, and fresh. Like, you know what, what basically James is saying? You cannot say, you cannot go to church on Sunday, hallelujah, glory to God, and sing praises to the Lord, but then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you, you, you're cursing. That's hypocrisy. This is why you know the Apostle Paul tells us to check ourselves. Check yourself, my friends. That's the home, that should be the homework of every born again Christian. And, um, yeah. We need to be careful, you know. We need to watch our mouth. We need to take care of our tongue. We need to. Because, you know, by our fruits, people are going to know if we're real Christians or not by our fruits, by the way we live, by the way we show, you know, the, everything, like the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, the, the gift of the Spirit should be in you as a true follower of Jesus Christ. And another verse we're going to see here, we're going to go to Matthew. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 to 23. It's very long, but please bear with me because I want to learn. You know? Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. It says, Enter ye in the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there which go in threat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come out to you in cheap clothing, but in worldly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns 
or fake tree fakes of trestles even so very good tree bringeth forth good fruit but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit a good tree cannot bring forth fruit evil could forth evil fruit neither can corrupt tree bring forth good fruit every tree that bringeth not forth fruit good forth good fruit i'm sorry is hewn down and cast into the fire wherefore by their fruits ye should know them verse verse 21 i'm good stacy god, uh, god bless you uh, uh verse 21 not everyone that saith unto me lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven many will profess unto me in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then well i jesus christ is speaking profess unto them hallelujah glory to god i never knew you depart from me ye that work of iniquity god bless you guys god bless you guys sorry if i can attend you guys i know you guys want to talk but um right now i'm preaching i'm so sorry guys i mean you guys could call me but like, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna answer you guys i'm not trying to be rude yes i've been good and you know i'm sorry if i haven't called you guys back i just been doing I'm studying with God, you know, like not study, but like other stuff. I'm focused on the word of God. Hallelujah. This is the bread of life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So guess, guys. So by your fruits, the ones that always save heretics, they teach that you don't need to repent. What? What about your fruits? You're going to be Christ-like. Did Jesus go around showing the middle finger? Did he go around showing the middle finger and say, F you, F you Pharisees, F you this, F you that. Did he do that? No. So why would you do that? Did Jesus, hallelujah, did, did, did Jesus Christ um, talk sexual to, towards women? So why would you as a Christian guy do that? Why would you like honk and talk, and, and talk sexual slurs to a random woman in the street? Like what's wrong with you? Are you taking the head? Woo. I'm preaching, guys, for you. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to my family members. And <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, guys, I'm serious. They like. Like. No, I'm not mad, guys. I'm not mad. I'm talking to the professing Christians. The ones who say, oh, we need to repent. We, we don't need to live wrongly. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. First Peter. For those of you guys who say that we don't need to live holy lives. What does First Peter chapter 1 says? Hallelujah, glory to God. But as which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. That's what Peter wrote. Peter wrote that. First Peter chapter 1, verses 15 through 16. So like, you guys need to check yourself, my friends. Make sure you're in the faith, you know, before you go around blowing up my comments. And if I see any stupid comment on my on my on my on my YouTube channel or here on Instagram, I'm just gonna delete your comment, okay? Then I'm not gonna go back back and forth with you, um, also as, um heretics. Oh, Galatians. Galatians chapter 5. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which is patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such thing, there is no law. So, yeah. You cannot be one saved, always saved, but you, but you don't have the fruit of the Spirit. Like, if you're in the flesh, you're not saved, man. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're not saved at all. If you're walking in the flesh, you can't walk in the flesh. You have to walk in the spirit. Later on, I might do a small study about flesh versus spirit. So, yes, we're going to go over Romans chapter 8, for the glory of God, and um, Galatians chapter 5. Who are the real Christians and who are the false Christians? And so that you know, the false Christians 
are not saved. They're, they're not truly saved. They're not, they're, their faith is dead. They believe in vain. So that you know that. So um, I hope this video edified you guys. May God bless you guys in the name of Jesus Christ. And um, continue, you know, to live faithful to God. You know, stay away from false doctrines. Study your Bibles. And uh, stop listening to the enemy's lies. God bless you guys in the name of Jesus Christ. Brian Lobos Quintana signing out.